Okay, so to produce this hydrogen, I'm using uh, some deionized water, sodium hydroxide, and some aluminium. You, you want to get this reaction with the purest aluminium possible. This is 99.8 or something like that, uh, and it's just from a, a reel that I've cut down into little ones so I can put it inside the chemical reactor here. So it's an exothermic reaction, so it gets hotter and hotter, and the more chemicals are produced when it's hot. Um, so if you actually try and cool the reaction down, it will produce less hydrogen. Uh, this can be a pain, because it means you have to have a container that can take the heat and the pressure at the same time, and it cannot be made of aluminium. The gas then travels through this pipe into this cooler, to some cold water, so it's going to be hot on this side, cold on this side, and then runs into this system that I've made here, which just bleeds the pressure um, if I want to stop the reaction at any time. And, uh, any pressure or any water from the chemical reaction that happens in there can travel through all this pipe work and come out on this side. And then go through this uh, dryer here. I'm actually not using any water in it now, um, but I'm using it as a water trap. So no water that would pour out of here can't go into the rest of the system and build up in the storage tank because uh, I don't want that to happen at all because it will corrode the inside of the tank. So I'm using it to catch any water. It then goes through this little regulator and water trap to catch any smaller particles of water that are uh, like vapour. Um, this was this really came in handy before I had the water cooler, but um, I'm still going to use it for safety before going into the storage tank. And that's all there is to making this. Um, I've overcomplicated it really. You can really just have this going into a cooler and then going into a storage tank, but I would recommend some sort of water trap. And that's it really.